<laughs> yeah, as long as the top screen's visible. Uh, everything's good. Oh, wait, countdown? Sweet. Uh, so this is Pokemon Green. Um, it was released two years before Pokemon Red and Blue out in the West. Uh, a couple of things were changed. One thing is the sprites, but also there's a couple of glitches, which is what we're going to be using. Um, to note, I am playing on the 3DS version. There's no difference between the 3DS and the uh, the cartridges. Uh, there's a few things with like RNG nips, uh, but that's not useful in this run. Um, so yeah. We're just going to start this run basically like any other. We're going to go get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak. Is 3DS nice for practice because of the built-in save state? Um, for this one, you don't really need save states. There's only like one part that's you can mess up, and it's like the main part. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, never really use save states, though. All right, so um, in typical Pokemon runs, you choose Squirtle, yes, um, just because he's better for the early game. But in this game, we're actually going to choose Bulbasaur for two reasons. Uh, first of all, he, or rather, your rival is going to pick uh, Charmander, so your rival walks half the speed that you do. So he's going to walk less tiles, and that's good for speed reasons. Um, and second of all, we're actually going to want to lose this fight. Um, and since Bulbasaur is slower than Charmander, he's going to attack second. So on the turn that Bulbasaur dies, assuming that he dies, um, it's going to save time, basically. So here we want Charmander to scratch five times. This has happened to me once. Uh, if he uses Growl, it wastes time. And if things really turn sour, then he'll just keep using Growl until... Okay, that's scratch good. He'll just keep using Growl till, um, till I kill him, and then that wastes a lot of time. Okay, that's two. I'm just going to roll the dice. Okay, I got a crit there. That's fine. And that's a Growl. Okay. Is there any chance for Charmander to crit you in this fight? Yeah. Um, if he gets two crits, that's useful. But if he only gets one, then it would be still five scratches. OK. I'm actually going to win. I might actually win this. All right, well, we get the fabled Bulbasaur level up that we would have otherwise skipped. But that's OK. Um, so, well, as far as in-game time goes, the Pokemon Speedrun community recently switched to real-time. But as far as in-game time goes, the record is uh, 003 minutes uh, in-game time. Um, so that's dead now because we won the fight. Actually, that was dead when Charmander used Growl, because um, recovering from that's pretty hard. Uh, from here on out, we don't need to do any more fights, so any encounters we get, we're just going to run away from. So getting three minutes is really tight. Yeah. Um, you need... If you get one Growl, I think you can still make it, but it would be tough. If you get any encounters on the way, um, it's, it's over. <laughs> so, you know, running this game is a bit... To be fair, though, the run is three minutes, so it's not that hard to get a good run. Um, I think it took me like three or four hours to get a three-minute time. Mm. So can't really complain too much. Uh, so one important thing I should mention is the way like the game handles Pokemon. So you have up to six Pokemon slots. Uh, what it does is that you have the first slot, which is you know your Pokemon. And then after that, there's uh, what's called the End Party Terminator. That's a value of FF. Uh, so that's going to be useful for later. I'm just keep that in mind. So here is, I'm just going to save in case I screw something up. I've practiced this run a couple of times, and I haven't screwed it up yet, but marathon luck. I'm going to be going in the item menu. That is not the item menu. Okay. Hope you saw that. And hit an encounter. So what I did was I selected the second item, and this is the Japanese exclusive uh, glitch. It's called the Select Glitch. I can actually switch with Bulbasaur there, and then head out of the fight. Um, so what that does is that it doesn't switch the second and first item, it actually switches the second and first Pokemon. So the end party terminator that I spoke about earlier in the run is now in the first slot. Um, and the, oops, the game doesn't like that too much, so it's, we're just going to be warping around a bit. Uh, also, if you look at some tiles, some of them look a bit funny, and we can just like, walk through walls and stuff, because uh, this game is pretty well programmed. And let's go shopping. Great. Is this what I think it is? 
Um, if you think it's the Hall of Fame, then you're right. Okay. <laughs> and we're in the Hall of Fame. That's probably, oh, it might be 005, actually. Okay, no, we're still good. Okay, uh, time comes up when the screen turns white. Okay, so what happened there? We switched the first and second Pokemon, um, so the end party Terminator is at the top now. Uh, and what that does is that the game's gonna go through all of the, um, like all of basically the RAM addresses. It's not gonna stop at six Pokemon, it's just gonna keep on going until it finds another value of FF. Um, and then it's gonna stop, you know, you have no more Pokemon. Um, so if you look at what a Pokemon is, think like, you know, you have the Pokemon, the level, um, HP, all that stuff, whether or not they're poisoned. And it just so happens that the 199th Pokemon is poisoned. And it just so happens that that Pokemon's health um, determines where a certain exit will take you next. So we walk a certain number of steps to get that health lower. And then we go to the rival's house. It dumps us on the route above uh, Cycling Road. And then we just head to uh, the building that we need to get. And that hits the Hall of Fame. And then we beat the game. So that is Pokemon Green. Nice. Hope you all enjoyed. Everyone's asleep. Everyone's playing Mafia. Yeah. <laughs> That was like equally as trivial as uh, like the Zelda one. I yeah. don't know if you saw that. Uh, I've seen the run before. It's it's <laughs> second quest. Just named a bunch of stuff. At least you get to do some like weird out of bounds movement. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Second quest, Ace, you just appear at the end. <laughs> you don't get to do fun stuff. Dang. <laughs> um, if the, the next one doesn't start, can I just like hang around a bit? I'm not sure where the next runner is. Okay. Once the credits are over. Does time end he, after credits? Stuff off no, the it's... Map, so. Oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> uh, it ended on uh, the white screen after the oh. Hall of Fame, so okay. it's been a while. That was time a while ago. Oh, did you not no, stop time? time? No, we didn't. Okay, time. <laughs> now it, it's exact, it's seven minutes. Hey, we're good. Okay. Time was after the end, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, time was on the fade out from the Hall of Fame. Oh, okay. way a while back. Okay, um, <laughs> it's fine. So I reloaded the save. I still have the glitch activated. And one funny thing is that if you walk directly to the rival's house, you actually end up in your own house and you can just keep on moving like this if you want. Um, I found that funny. There's a few other things. Uh, it's like if you end up, crap, what's the name? Fam not Vermillion. Um, the city that I was just, oh, okay, now we're out of it. Now we're stuck. I guess that's it for me. But if you end up uh, where you get the EV, you can just keep on getting EVs. Uh, the actual ball doesn't disappear, so that's pretty cool. Um, well, yeah, I guess that's it for me. So we'll save here. Save our progress.